folks, it's Akitu, and welcome back to Subnautica. Or, maybe not. Um, I did some recording tonight. One episode went really long, so I have to edit that down before I can upload it. Otherwise, it's going to be just a huge episode, and I don't want to do that to you guys. Then, I started doing a second episode, and I was halfway through that. And heading to the base, I finally got everything together. I got the stuff for a moon pool, got stuff for a camera, got stuff for everything. All happy and boom! Right as I hit the mushroom biome, crash to desktop. First crash I've had in 50 hours of playing this game. So that's a problem. <laughs> so I loaded it back up and first thing that was weird, I loaded it back up and my Seamoth was facing straight up and down. I was not in my Seamoth, which is where I saved it. And, you know, I didn't think much of it. Jumped in, went straight at the other one, said, okay, I'm going to skirt the surface this time so it doesn't have to load things in, and boom! Crashed the desktop even faster. So, yeah, I've been getting, you know, some frame rate issues and some, you know, skittering the whole night so I kind of knew something was up and I was just hoping that it was just the usual you know bogging down but <laughs> apparently not the third time I did try a third time I really want to get this moon pool and stuff in there and I had all these supplies I was taking out to the place so the third time I said okay let me take the scenic route I hit the creep vine biome right outside my base and it crashed. So there's definitely something going on with my copy. I may have to look up and see if there's anything I can do to troubleshoot it. Unless that gets you know fixed, I don't think I can do any more episodes. So unfortunately this seems to be a stopping point. There will be at least you know, the one cut into two, and there's a third one that's half as long. Maybe I'll put them all together into one series of, you know, smaller videos. But basically, for today, there will not be an update. I'm very sorry. I did try and keep a backlog so that uh, I was constantly uploading one each day, but unfortunately, it just didn't work out today. So, like I said, until either A, the developers patch out whatever this problem is, which it seems a bunch of people are having this problem, it's mainly when you're traveling in the sea moth that this happens. So, I mean, maybe tomorrow I'll try swimming out there without the sea moth, but that kind of defeating the purpose of having my base and making it really difficult to get down to it. Um, but yeah, it's a shame, <laughs> it's a real shame because that's what the moon pool is for, but uh, at the same time, um, what do you have to look forward to? I met a new creature, didn't like me, I found another wreck, really cool stuff inside, and uh, yeah, I found silver, it took forever to find even more silver because I realized that when I do the moon pool I'm going to need the uh, upgrade station for the sea moth as well, and that required two microchips. So, it's one of those things where everything was finally ready, everything was done, I had all sorts of plans, and bam, just destroyed. But I did send the log files into the developers, so, you know, there's hope. Not much, but there's hope. <laughs> I mean, the log files tend to be rather small anyway, but one of them was five megs of uh, information, so hopefully that one helps out a lot. I know the ones that are a couple hundred K aren't going to do much, but anyway. I will see you guys next time. I am very sorry that I don't have an episode for you today. Check back tomorrow. I should have something edited together tomorrow. And if worse comes to worse, you know, I've got Astroneer, I've got tons of other games, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, 
I will check you guys next time. Peace.